Hey, welcome back to the channel. We about to check out Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, the official trailer. Now I've seen the first Beetlejuice, but it's been a long, long time since I've seen that movie. I have to rewatch it uh, again. Just refresh my memory. Check this out and see what it's about. Let's get into it. Here's a preview. Be warned. It's intense. Daniel, I remember that song. That's a, that's Can't believe Grandpa is dead. Death is hard. Yeah, sometimes I think life is harder. When I was a teenager, a trickster demon terrorized our entire family and tried to force me to marry him. I believed he was gone forever until you found this in the attic. Ew. Who's Beetlejuice? Don't ever say that name. Beetlejuice. No, Astrid, I am serious. If you say his name three times, he will appear. Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah, saying it anyway. I'm gonna make you so happy. The living. The dead. Can they coexist? Mm -hmm. That's what we're here to find out. Where's Beetlejuice? Where's Beetlejuice? Okay. Beetlejuice! Feel free to express yourselves. Don't be afraid. You're a figment of my imagination. Really? Is this a figment of your imagination? Come on, they could have shown it. They could have shown it. Six. Yeah. All right. So this is a uh, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Okay. Okay. Um. Here's one thing I can say about it, um, especially with these types of franchises, if they're gonna go back to it. If y'all was a part of, well, it, it wasn't a franchise. Now it was a franchise, but you were part of a movie, I guess maybe it was big. I'm, I'm not sure. I got to check if it was a uh, movie was a big movie back in the old days. Hey, keep your, you know, you don't never know what's going to happen, but them old actors coming back and get that opportunity, you know, to make some more money. Hey. They, they, you know, they didn't know at the time, you know, the first movie came out, if it was going to be, you know, if they're going to have a sequel, who knew? Uh, so, but, uh, they brought, um, just, you know, same characters from what I remember back, uh, the actors, you know, actresses back, um, you know, Michael Keaton, uh, they got the 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 uh the girl from Wednesday, the show on Netflix. I, I, I finished it. I watched it. Finished the show, and I I can see how they can like. All right, you you seem like you can be a fit for uh, Beetlejuice. Right, let me just put you in. I already see it. I already see it. I don't think that was Miss Cat. I don't even know who her character is. She I guess she's the daughter of the the lady in this movie. Um, I don't know her name that's on the screen right now looking at Beetlejuice, but I know she was in the first movie. I remember her scene when they was, they was doing that little, that little song at the uh, dinner table. Stack banana till the morning come. Daylight come and the one go home. I know she was in Home Alone too. I don't know her name. Uh, what else? Oh, they added William Defoe too, which is cool. 
William Defoe add some credibility to this movie. I hope uh, I'll, I'm I'm interested in seeing how his character is going to pan out. This is a uh, so um so what September come out September. It's May. Not that far away. I'm not that far away. Uh, I mean, I'm interested. I, I, I'm interested in it. It seemed like it's based off of what I remember from the first movie. It seemed like it's gonna just be really like just uh redoing stuff, maybe or re uh visiting certain things in the uh probably from the first film. I mean the animation or how would you say uh the visual effects should be better than how it was when i saw that plane going down in this trail i was thinking okay that plane looked kind of suspect i don't know what part of it. it was it was it was in his trailer somewhere the plane going down looked kind of suspect but i i don't know um what part that was on uh, yeah but that plane going down looked kind of suspect i probably won't be able to find it But uh, yeah. But it, it you know, it, it got some credible names up in here. You know, got Willem Dafoe. I don't know the the main lady name. Michael Keaton. Okay, Catherine O'Hara or O'Hara. I don't know, but I know she's from Home Alone. I know she's the Home Alone lady. You say, oh, that's the lady from Home Alone. That's what I'm thinking about. But yeah, it was that plane going down. I was like, okay, maybe we're gonna fix it up a little bit. But I think from what I remember from Beetlejuice, the the place that they went to, I gotta I gotta rewatch that movie. But the place that they went to didn't really have good visual effects anyway. The place just looked a certain type of way or something. I think it was her dad and her mom or something like that. They they revealed how they how they really looked. They had the stretch mouth, and she had the. Eye. It was something, something like that. I gotta, I gotta uh, revisit the movie. Maybe y'all know, y'all know better than I do, you know. But um, it looks somewhat interesting. Somewhat, um, will y'all be willing to see this movie? Uh, I know they like to bring old movies back when they do the whole franchise thing because they say, oh, they running out of ideas. We don't know what's going. You know, they don't. You can't come up with nothing new. Who knows? And a lot of people, you know, in some cases, like, uh, you know, Ryan Coogler, who did Creed, he came up with an idea, went to Sylvester Stallone with his idea, but he had to wait. And then he saw, I guess, what, Fruitvale Station. And he's like, oh, 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 all right, fine. We we can continue our conversation. Now nah, I've seen Fruitvale, you know. So you got new creators coming up and probably, you know, working on uh, reviving the projects, you know having a fresh take on it and stuff. I don't know who directing this, so it could be oh yeah, Tim Burton. Say Tim Burton, but I think he directing this or producing, I don't know. But um you know, he he already, you know, I think he did the first one. So but with these new franchises and stuff or these they bring them back old movies and creating franchises from them. It's been kind of iffy, you know. You we had what well, we had that was one that was decent. All right, Bad Boys. Okay, it came out. It was long. Yeah, it was you could say it was franchise because Bad Boys one, Bad Boys two, then Bad Boys for Life. Okay. Um, then you have something like what's that movie? Coming to America two. That felt forced. I don't care what nobody say. Coming to America too. I like certain parts, but it felt forced. I like Eddie Murphy. I, love, I like his comedy and stuff. But coming to America too felt forced. Like it just felt just super forced. Um, well, the franchise. It's it's other ones that like you know it took a while for them to come back. Um, I can't think of nothing right now for some reason. Um, what's another one that's like it's been a been a long time, and then he came back, and you're like, "Oh crap! Okay, that was that was decent." 
That was a decent film. Um, yeah, I can't think of nothing right now. But I bet watch, watch. I'm done with this video. Man. I'm it will be coming. It'll come back to my mind. I'm done with this video. I'll be like, dang, I should have said that in the video. Well, yeah, yeah, but it is what it is. But um, yeah, I just hope this one will pan out to be good. You know, hopefully, uh. If this one is not coming out during a time where it's another big movie franchise has already established. Oh, like uh, uh here go another one, Top Gun. Hey, look, if y'all waiting to see this, y'all willing to see this, y'all let me know in the comments below. If y'all want to see this Beetlejuice movie, and uh, like that's that part right there. They could have showed that. They could have showed that part, like this. Like, why not show it? Maybe it wasn't finished. Like maybe it wasn't. I don't know. They just could had to do the intro from the back. But it's like, come on now, y'all could have y'all could have showed that from the front. So y'all, let me know what y'all think of this trailer in the comment section below. And uh, will y'all go see this movie or not? I'm out.